Good morning. My name is Claudia. This is my Wonderless Camino. Today is Sunday, October 8, day 23 on the Camino de Santiago. Um, it is 13 degrees right now. I believe, I'm trying to remember, a high of 26 today. Uh, I'm going to Fonsipadon, leaving Astorda. It is a 25 kilometer day, mostly uphill. Um, it's 6 a.m. We're getting an early start. I'm going to walk with Ivy this morning. And I'm just going uphill now. My alberga is down the hill. <clears throat> and her alberga is just up the hill. Um, I had a lovely stay at my way alberga. Good sleep. A uh, couple of snores all night. Um, yeah, let's get going. I think I completely missed, or is this my first Galicia sign? Okay, um, I don't think Ivy has made it up yet. I messaged her. There's no word, so I'm going to start walking. Because I got a long day, it's going to be hot, and uh, it's uphill. Yeah. <laughs> We are in Moria's de Rishivaldo, 7.15. I'd like to find somewhere to have some coffee. I'm not sure how, uh, when the next time is. So that would be nice. It is chilly. Chilly. I have my buff over my ears and my hands are like, I have my sun shirt covering my hands. It's chilly. Just arrived to Santa Catalina de Somoza. Somozas. Um, cute. Uh, this is actually the first open town. The other one wasn't open. It's 8.14. Walking for nine and a half kilometers. Let's see if we can get some coffee here. I think we can. So I just had a very long break. I don't even know how long. I can't remember what time it was when we came in, but it is 9.20. Did I, I think I sat there for an hour. Um, Maggie, Maureen, and Tanya were here, and Tanya is having shin splits, splints. Uh, so I gave her some of my ibuprofen cream to rub on it and uh, we did some KT tape on it so we had to watch some videos on how to do that. I know that's weird. Um, yeah, so we did that and then Ivy came in and she's having breakfast. She was walking with Sandra. Um, so that is that. Uh, let's see, I have another 15 kilometers to go. It is 9.21, so I gotta get going. Chat soon. I just remembered, I didn't do my total spent yesterday. Okay, so total spent yesterday was around 50 euros. It was 14 euros to stay at My Way Albergue, and it was 12.50 
12 euros for the dinner. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I went to the grocery store and me and Ivy bought stuff to make sandwiches for this morning. That was six fifty. Uh, and then, uh, oh yeah, uh, the cathedral was five euros on the pilgrims' rate. The uh, Gaudi Palace was five euros. And then the chocolate museum, which you could totally skip. I don't like if you're short on time, I would just skip it. It was two and a half euros. Um, yeah, that was my total stunt yesterday. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Oh, that is not including my trip to the pharmacy, uh, which was 40 euros. I thought that was really expensive. I got another knee brace and more KT tape, which, uh, not KT the brand but just that um tape it was it's a different brand um and i actually helped out tanya this morning we taped up her leg so that was the total spend for yesterday today so far i've had two coffees two cafe con leches um and i want to thank Billy. Thank you, Billy, for buying me a cafe con leche. And uh, you're going on your Camino in April 2024. That's fantastic. You're going to have a fantastic time. You're going to love it. Uh, so thank you very much. You guys see, you can see the mountains. And that's what's waiting for us. We're going back up in the mountains. I'm really excited about it just for the trails and, you know, the views. It's so beautiful. I don't think my knees are gonna be too excited about it, but I am, I'm excited. This is El Ganso, and that's the Albergue Indian Way. Oh, it's open for breakfast at 7. Too far. Look at that. Different. And it's in El Ganso. Uh, I think a lot of people are staying here in El Ganso. I heard some people talking about it. I wonder if they're staying over there. Okay, let's talk about training for the Camino. Um, before the Camino, I'm a, a big walker. Uh, by that, what I mean is I walk to and from work three days a week before, before the seaward. Um, I was walking, uh, well, three or five days a week to work to and from. That's eight kilometers each way. Uh, I usually would carry a backpack with my breakfast, lunch, change of clothes, and then post C, I was carrying a laptop and food. Um, so 16 kilometers, three times a week. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then on weekends, I would walk too. So my feet have been good. Uh, I think I've been walking with, I'm wearing Ultra Olympus. So that's, those are the shoes I used before. I mean, not these ones. I got a new pair just for the Camino. Um, sorry. I got a new pair for the Camino and that's, I started using them maybe a week before. I didn't have any issues. Didn't need to break them in or anything. Um, and they worked out great very happy for th with them uh, same I use merino wool socks at home usually icebreakers uh, I switched to darn tough I find that the darn tough have lasted a lot longer um, even though like the running socks already have holes in them I've been wearing the three-quarter hiking socks 
uh, but my feet have been great. No issues, no blisters, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, now, <laughs> did I do any other training? No. Do I regret that? Yes, I think that's why I'm having so many knee issues. I should have gone to the gym and done stairs. I think that has been my problem. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid the sun. Um, what I would have done different is I would have gone to the gym, then the Stairmaster a few times a week, um, done more step ups, um, squats, lunges, worked on my knees more. Uh, I think that would have prevented what I'm having now. So that's what I would have done different. And when you speak to um, like Mike and Sue who were in their 70s, they went to the gym three times a week and that's what they did. They did stairs. Uh, Suzanne, she went to the gym and she did stairs. She hated them, but she did them, I think two to three times a week. Um, I did not. Uh, so that's what I would have done. That's what I suggest doing. I think if you Google Camino training, you get a few or like um, long distance hiking training, you get a few free uh, plans like uh, 12 and eight weeks. I would do that, but I also would go to the gym, do the stairs, walking with a pack. Get used to walk with a pack. Um, I think that's made a big difference for me. I'm so used to walking with the pack. Um, I feel fine. Uh, I think I'm going to take a break here. But yeah, that's how it goes with training. That's what I would suggest. I think we are two kilometers from Ravenella Valley Camino, which is where most people are staying. And look what we have. See what we have? <laughs> We're back to this. I know, I know I said I wanted trails. I know. I got trails. And we're going uphill. Not sure if you can tell. says it's 23. Feels way hotter than 23. There's no breeze. The shade really doesn't bring any uh, leaf. It's 1132. Uh, I'm almost in Ramona del Camino. Almost there. Take a break. Um, maybe take off my socks. Dry out my feet. Um, and then I believe I still have another six to go. And that's all uphill. I don't wanna, like I don't, like if it's like this and there's shade, great. But if it's all in the sun, that's gonna be difficult.
someone broke up with their Skechers. Donation. Take it if you need it. Oh, it's water repellent. <laughs> yeah. You nice? Yeah, very nice. Can I say in Korean? I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 안녕. Please subscribe the this channel. <laughs> I uh, I said in Korea. <laughs>
it is. Ah, look, they have a menu of the day. 13 euros. Not today. It's 2.40. I've got to find something to eat. Just finishing up my sandwich that I made yesterday. Still have the little peach. I bought an Aquarius. And in the shade. I'm contemplating going up the Cruz de Ferro because it's a kilometer and a half. I might do that. Hello from Franza Bedon. Um, I'm in Pension Drida in a private room. Um, and I'm right beside the pizzeria. And it just so happens that everything in town closes at 8, except the pizzeria. <laughs> They're having a party. Uh, that's fine. If I close the window, I can't hear them. Uh, so today, the last five kilometers were really hard. And it's what everyone was saying. I think it was the heat and the incline and the rocks and it was just hard so i sent suzanne um and maureen and them a message because they're gonna do it tomorrow morning and if you're gonna do it in the dark you just need to be paying attention um but my portuguese sisters are here they did it i was amazed they did the exact same thing like they walked from astorga to here and they got here half hour after I did, which they left at 5 a.m. I didn't see them. Did I see them today? I can't remember. Oh, I did at the cafe, but then I never saw them again. I thought they would have been here by now. Anyways, uh, total cost for the day. So it was 42 euros to stay here. Um, and what else? 42 euros to stay here. Dinner was 16 euros just across, uh, which I actually had with my Portuguese sisters. Um, and then I got some bottled water for still tonight and tomorrow. Uh, and an Aquarius and I had an ice cream. What else? Oh, I had coffee this morning. 42 times 7. Let's round it out and say I probably spent 65 70 today um yeah so a bit much because of the private room obviously um and it has a single bed uh most of the places were booked when i tried to book um i didn't want a chance coming up here and then not having a bed so i booked the private room um and talking to the sisters the albergue they're staying in, actually they've had to put down a couple of um, mattresses on the floor in the church because they weren't going to turn anyone away. So, yeah. Um, and they're paying 15 to stay there. Even the people sleeping on the floor. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Ivy is here too. She booked a few days ago as well. And um, Ting, the Taiwanese girl, walked with us this, today and um, she ended up getting a room, I mean a bed at the same albergue that the sisters are staying in. Um, and she had a bed. Okay, that is all for today. Tomorrow we are going to Pomferrata. Uh, I believe the sisters are going to Pomferrata as well. So tomorrow is the Cruz de Ferro. Um, Sophie, I'm going to leave your stone there. Um, so a big debate. Everyone's talking about it today because it's only a half hour for us to get to Cruz de Ferro. And uh, the sunrise is at 8.30. Probably starts getting light out by 7.30. Um, we're thinking we're going to leave here at 7 and then just, um, get there and wait for the sunrise or wait until it's light out. 
um, but it'll be busy when we get there or you know waiting uh, so we're gonna bundle up because we're gonna sit there for a while and wait um, and then we're gonna come down so also I didn't want to walk down the mountain in in darkness um, just because I heard it can be pretty steep in some parts and dangerous so I'd rather take a little bit longer tomorrow temperatures for tomorrow are basically what it was today so hot um, so not ideal um, so we'll see um, that is all I have for today tomorrow is Canadian Thanksgiving um, it's first Thanksgiving I'm away from the kids first Thanksgiving we're not having a real Thanksgiving no turkey um, but they're going out they're ordering in Chinese and my sister is gonna take over some pie so a little sad um, never been away from them for holidays like major holidays so um, but I know that they're well taken care of so that is all for today I'll chat to you tomorrow good night <laughs>